Okay, hey guys, what is up? It is Carl Plank with Plankins Networking, and today we are going to be showing you guys how to set up a logon message for your clients on your network. So to do this, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to connect to our server. So in my case, I'm going to type my IP address in and we'll remote into it. Now you can do this directly from your server if you wanted to, but I'm personally just going to remote into mine. I don't have a screen and everything hooked up to it all the time. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, depending on who you want this message to display to, is going to depend on where you put this. For us, we're going to have it domain-wide, so we're going to put it in our root directory. We're going to name it DW for domain-wide. And then we're going to name it Logon Warning. Then we're going to come to this group policy. We're going to right click and select edit. Then we're going to go to computer configuration, policies, Windows settings. Uh, whoops, went too far there. Windows settings, security settings, and then local policies. Then we're going to go to security options, and then we're going to look for where it says interactive message. Okay, so here it says interactive logon message text for users attempting to connect to your domain. We're going to do tutorials message test. Then we're going to click OK. And then there's one below it for the title, and we're just going to do tutorials, test, logon, message. Click OK. Then we're going to minimize this. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come to one of our clients. For this one, we're going to use Windows 8. Now, I actually have not tested this on Windows 8. I have tested it on Windows 7, so we'll, we'll actually test on both. Windows 7 and Windows 8. And we'll see what happens with Windows 8. Because I haven't done this on Windows 8, so I'm not sure if this still applies or if it still even works. So I guess we'll see. Actually, I think I'm just going to go with Windows 8 at first, and we'll just save where Windows 7 is. That way it doesn't take as long to boot up for both the VMs. Okay, guys, we're at the login screen. As you can see, it is not displaying anything yet, and this is going to be... Oh, okay, there it is. So it's uh, going to say tutorials, test login, and then, you know, whatever your message is down there. So we'll click OK. And uh, we'll just shut this VM down because that's all we're going to use this one for. And then we'll go back to our Windows 7. I'll show you what it does with Windows 7.
Okay, as you can see, we are at our Windows 7 login. We're going to press, press Control Delete. And if you come to it and it does not say anything, what you want to do is you want to log into a user account. And you want to run a group policy update. Because sometimes it can take a little bit longer. Or another thing that could happen is it just hasn't applied yet. So if you start up the machine and then you shut it down and then start it up later, it will display the next time it's turned on. But for this e example, we're just going to go into a user account and run our group policy update from there. And then we'll log out and the message should be displaying if DNS is working properly. Okay, you guys, as you can see, we are in our account. It, group policy is working correctly because it did create our policy for our shortcuts on our desktop. So what we're going to do just to be on the safe side is we're going to come here and type in CMD. And we are going to type in GP update slash force. Okay, then we're going to exit this and we are going to log off our account. Now when we press Control Delete, you can see it says Tutorials Test Login Message and Tutorials Message Test. So that's all for today's video guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, also, feel free to comment below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out our website and our Twitter and our Facebook. Have a great day, you guys, and I'll talk to you guys later.